welcome back. Today I'm going to make a hopper for it. So I'm going to use this, some angle. It's only going to be from, well, I'm going to cut that section off because it's already been chopped down there. So it's probably going to be about 600 millimeters high. I'll make it the same shape as this and see how that goes. A longer bit of wood in the fire would probably be better. I won't have to stoke it as many times. So it might make it easier or it might not work anyway. So I'll see how it goes. So I'll um, start that now. Okay, it's raining today, but going to do a test of the um, wood hopper on the boiler this time. I've got everything set up under the shelter. <coughs> so I'll um, set that on fire. I've filled up the tank already and we should be good to go. I've got all the wood chopped up. So we're in for a heavy rains later. Sort of stopped a bit now. So I'll get back when I warm this up. Just set the fire, it's 11 a.m. So we'll see how long it takes to get warm. Well, it's trying to come out of there at the moment, but it's not warm, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll get back. It's been 12 minutes. And um, when I lift that lid a bit, I seem to get an increase in draw. Maybe. Could be an illusion. I don't know. You can hear it. So I'll um, do a little run when I load up some wood in a minute with the hopper open because there's some flames coming and I'll close this. We've been sort of producing steam in that amount of time and I've got the pump going. So that could be too much, or it's only trickling in there, maybe. Oh no, I'm getting water coming out, I think. I'll keep it there and keep the water flowing and see what happens. We're nowhere near warm enough yet. That's only that first lot of fuel still. Opening the lid. I think it's a bit better with the lid off. It's starting to rain again now. Seems to be um, drawing not too bad. Seems to work best with this lid only to there. If I have it totally off, flames start coming up. And with the airports open, helps. So we've been running for 14 minutes now. 
we're not at temperature yet. We're at 280 there. And on the seam, we are 200. So the water's still flowing at this rate. We have water coming out. But that's, I'm trying to prevent it from drying out. So you can see it sucking down. Not all the time, it should be constant. Try shutting one of these vents. Shut another vent. I think that's sucking better sometimes. Got one vent. I'm um, partially. I need my glove on. I'll adjust it. Alright, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Um, it sort of builds up with coals too much and it only seems to reach about 230 when it's um, hot. I couldn't go past 230 like it did without the hopper. So I think the hopper is changing the design. I tried with the door shut and that lid open. It was sort of working, but it was making resonance. It was sucking and then blowing and sucking. So it was like it was, this is too long, I think, for that section. We only got about 2.30, 3.30 up there or something when we had it running at its peak. And we couldn't get 300 here. So I'll pull that off and stick the plate down on the top, clean the fire out a bit, and um, give it another go without the hopper. Just remove the hopper, load it some wood, and we'll give it some 10 minutes and see what temperature we reach at that seam. It's been um, half hour since I took the hopper off. We've been running at 15% on the motor controller. The flow rate is like that with the main valve open. And we've already reached our, our temperature of 280. 278 and very top 360 now I'll just put a glove on All right, I can um, slowly turn this off Build up some pressure now. It's only got a three mil hole. But we'll have to um, increase the water pump power to compensate for the pressure rise. So I think about 30%. I'm increasing I might have too much water
try turning it up for a bit. the water now. Thirty-five, 
25 minutes later, got to clean out the fire, and I might try the hopper again for a half hour or so. so I'll set all that up and get that. Uh, I've just gave it a massive clean out, put the hopper back on, and loaded it up. That's quite hot. And we'll probably drop down in tent, yep. I'll see what we get to. So if you put a couple in there, it seemed to work. When I unloaded it right up, it started flaming up the top. Without the lid. Partially works, but there's a lot of flame coming back. And we get to we got to 250. But as you can see there's lots of smoke. It might be half of that might be better. Or actually longer. I wonder if I could rig that that top of tube to the front of that and then block the top and load it. Still holding our pump. Even though we're losing a lot of heat now. The water flow seems to be pretty good at 25% with the hopper on. We're at 40 or more PSI. And then once that starts dropping down, Start turning again. Take it to 40. Thirty-five. Maybe the water flow could go down a bit higher, but this thing um struggles to get oh it's getting there, but it won't get the 280. Cut the fan, blowing in would help a fair bit. Might try that next year. I just added some more wood. And we're at 280, we can up pretty close to our mark. Be okay. I think it might actually work once it's hot. The paint's starting to peel off. So I just added some more wood in the hopper. It's actually gets to 390 but it drops nearly 10 degrees when I scraped out and just chucked the whole heap in. You get about 15 minutes 
on a length quite long without even worrying about it. It sits like that. It should slowly start getting hotter again. <clears throat> I think I loaded it up a bit much. So, lucky I tried that again because I um, initially dismissed it. But once everything was hot enough, it started drawing much better. Fifteen minutes after refilling, and we're at two ninety one on the seam. Two ninety. I've got the valve open, so I'm only pumping in seventeen percent water. Seems to keep it full, and a constant flow of steam coming out of it while testing. It will need a clean out, but I think I'm going to wind it down now. So we've got hot spots here. So maybe half of that. Top of the cylinder. 369. 91, 92. Oh, it's quite hot right around here too. A lot of radiating heat is coming out. Like, look how hot that is. I can feel the heat melting me. So 93, 94. That's our record. So hopper is working, keeping the, foot, the wood in there. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll let this wind down now. Oh, I forgot to say we've been um, running the boiler for three and a half hours today. So it takes like three and a half hours to get up the temperature there. With insulation, it would probably work even better. And a um, smaller copper pot made into pancake coil through the center tube would probably be pretty good. We'll look at that for next year, maybe. I've not seen anything like this. That's hail.